It is an unusual color indeed. It was uh, born like that. This was the corporate color of Sterling Moss's sponsor, a company called UDT Leistol. And all their cars raced in, in that same color. This car was ordered for Sterling Moss and it was one of the early cars, I think the seventh in line. And the Sterling Moss had already tested the prototype the year before. So they really wanted to give him a very special car and also an early one. He, uh, he really wanted to do a, a serious season racing with this car. Unfortunately, the car, when it was picked up by Innes Ireland from the factory, directly driven to Goodwood for, for the Easter weekend races, Sterling did practice it, then swapped to the Grand Prix car in which he had his career ending accident. So he never raced this car other than this brief practice. But fortunately in this team there were a few other very competent drivers like Innes Ireland, Miles and Gregory, and Innes Ireland, they both went to Le Mans first, were very fast there, but uh, the car uh, didn't finish. And uh, they did some races in England with a lot of success, in particular at the TT at Goodwood, where Innes Ireland uh, won the race. What is interesting is that it has it still has Sterling Moss a special seat that he specified from the short wheelbase, the dark blue, the Rob Walker team car with which he won uh, the TT at Goodwood the year before. And on, on the, the, the build sheet it says that type of, uh, of seat. And we found when we were restoring the seats, the cloth, we, it, it's, it still says Sterling Moss and the chassis number 3505. GTO is incredibly docile. It starts, it's with a standard clutch, it's very easy to get to get going, very smooth, very simple. It, the only thing is it gets hot inside. So you really want to keep going and keep your windows open. And I create a scoop with my hand to get some fresh air in. But other than that, it's an incredibly easy car.